You don't have to be in government or sit on some powerful committee to be a change maker. We can all make change happen. I'm John Paul Flintoff and I'm here in Swansea on behalf of Triodos Bank to meet a woman called Catherine who is helping to provide enough clean energy to power thousands of homes by the way she uses her money. And I'm excited to show her how. I'm Catherine. Come on in. Thank you. Catherine, thank you very much for sparing the time to talk to us today. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about why you make the choice that you've made with your money. My bank with Trudos, um, because they're an ethical bank and I wanted to choose a bank that I believed in and that was investing money in projects that I believe in. When did you decide to move banks? What happened? Um, a couple of years ago, I suddenly realised that I'd banked with the same bank because they gave me a money box when I was five. <laughs> and I'd never really given it that much consideration. Triodos are transparent about where they actually put their money and who they lend money to. Um, and it was important to me that when I was saving money that I'm actually saving with a bank that's considering what the benefits would be to other people as well as myself. What does community mean for you? My understanding is that Triodos support a lot of local groups that are community based. So bringing people together to work together. Would it please you to know that Triodos is investing in a wind farm that's relatively local? Yes. That might possibly be supplying the electricity to your cat. I see. Yes. <laughs> yes, it would. It would great. Yeah, it would. It would interest me to know. We could. We could go off and, and have a look in a minute. But I think we should finish our tea. Okay. Hi. Hi there. John Paul. Hi, I'm Catherine. Hi Catherine, good to meet you. Come in. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the Money of the Gorids uh, Wind Farm. Uh, I'm Dan McCallum. I've been involved in the project for a, a long, long time. What's the effect of money like Catherine's on the local community and what, what has it made possible here? We had a loan from, from Triodos Bank, £5.25 million, pounds, of which your investment was, was a part. <laughs> <laughs> and that, that paid for the, for the turbines and all of the sort of development cost in, in getting the turbines here. How much have the community been involved? Massively. We did a huge community consultation and thought, why, why can't we develop a wind farm as a local asset? because it's a sustainable form of energy and it can put profits back into the local community. And in fact, we have one school coming up this afternoon, uh, Tagwaith Primary, uh, which is actually the village where I live. And it's one of the closest villages to the site. And we're going to donate 500 pounds worth of shares to them as well. So they become co-owners of, of the wind farm. Brilliant. Can we go and have a look? Of course. Thank you for showing us around. It's really great. Yeah. Thank you. So what did you think? I thought it was great. Really, really great to see it up, up close and to meet Dan and to hear about it firsthand. It makes it more real. It makes it real to know the people that are involved and the, to see the children arriving that are coming to see it from the local school and seeing part of the community. I think it's really important that the investment's wisely spent and it's and it's spent for some good. Great, thank, thank you. you so much for your time today. Thank you. Really nice to meet you. Thank you, bye. bye. Many people don't realise the power they have in their own hands. Your money can protect the environment and build stronger communities at the same time.